It's a uh, teacher appreciation week. And it's a picnic theme. It's sandwiches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we had a lovely home goods shopping experience. Also went to Five Below because we needed cool floats, but not for a real swimming pool. We also bought a fake bicycle. <laughs> like it's a we bought a bicycle that you can't ride. So fake swimming pool and fake bike. <laughs> Priscilla's gonna redo her dining room. It's been at least a week and a half since she decorated the dining room, so why are you being so sarcastic? <laughs> it's kidding. been since after Christmas. <laughs> this has been up since New Year's. <laughs> it's so, so five months old. We'll show you, since uh, Priscilla doesn't make videos on her channel anymore, we'll show you the, uh, the dining room redo uh, briefly. So you can see how that turns out. She hadn't done any home decor shopping in a very long time, so she was feeling the need. The need was real. Brighten up that room. Yeah. So yeah, this week is a parent or teacher appreciation week. Um, we also have Abby's end of the year meeting, end of the conclusive meeting. What? What are they, What are we calling that? What's it called? Um, final meeting. I don't it's know. Just a final meeting. Yep. Yeah. Talk about all the great things that, that she did there, and you know. Man, we oh. vaulted out of the car, huh? <laughs> You didn't even get out on the right side. Go around and get your backpack, okay? All the times that we have problems getting out of the car and you just jump out. Okay, so we have big plans, huh? The meeting went really well. Um, it was great to hear all the accomplishments that you had this year, Abigail. How much everybody's gonna miss you. Are you gonna help us, Ab? We got a bunch of cool things to do. Yeah, you know, we're gonna. You wanna take the golf cart and get some flowers? I know. Is that exciting? Get your shoes. Just get your shoes. We just got off the phone with Isaiah too. He's really excited about coming home. Actually, like genuinely. You know, you know, kids will say like, "Oh yeah, I'm excited," but he actually sounds excited about coming home. He's looking forward to. Getting a tan, <laughs> and he said he's gonna get yoked. His words. Yeah. For those not in the know, no, getting yoked means to uh, lift weights and get swole to get hi, big. Guys. Oh hi. Hey. Um. iPad, backpack. There you go. Nice job. Come on. I'm not adventurous. Get in. I'm not as adventurous. No. Just put the brake on. We're not moving that much. Asa. I'm not Why are you a child? <laughs> Why are you an old grown up? Oh, an no, old grown up. You have your wallet? Sorry, Cyril. I'm a child. Yeah, you are. You have to get out of the cart. Yes, you do. Let's go. Come on. Did that work? Sun. I think they are full zone. We've had those before. You're gonna help us pick so you can be part of it, okay? That sound good? that we just bought. It's gonna take a really long time to get there at this place. Yeah, come on. Okay. Oh yeah. You gotta tell us if we're doing this wrong, okay? So, 
we got the regular pots that come in but they got the drain holes in the bottom and it's so dry here that i was worried about like we'd have to come out and water it like every single day so we got these little things to set the pots in that way they'll hold some water is that the right thing to do you know what i'm saying that, but that way they don't flood because they will flood and they'll drown the plant No, it's okay though, because it's not yours, it's mom's. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you love it so? I love chaotic than what it looked like. What's up? You need a drink. Is that what you're asking for? Yeah. Show me drink. Drink. There you go. You want a drink? Okay. A lot more chaotic than what it looked like. Um, we had this conversation with your teachers today how we go about you're at the age where can't is not the issue. It's won't. It's not willing to. Which is gonna make, which makes school, not just homeschool, school in general, very challenging to uh, get involvement going on. So we gotta keep pushing back against that. Good stuff. Thirsty, huh? It's Taco Tuesday. It's no, not. it's not. It's not it's Taco, Taco Thursday. It's Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Big Mexican food fans, though. Yeah. In Mexico, they just call it food. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Abigail, are you coming to eat? She said no. She said she didn't want tacos. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know. I opened it. I said, do you want tacos? But I don't know if she just doesn't know what that word is. She knows what Mexican is. She does. And you say, do you want Mexican? Yeah. Come on, Ab. This is nacho ordinary salsa. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is. That's <laughs> store bought. You have to know your boundaries, and my boundary is I did not have time. I made homemade guacamole, not salsa. Gotcha. Yeah. I hate these flicker lights. The flicker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. really really rough night tonight um, just started off I think with fear and worry you know we don't have we don't have a teacher lined up yet for Abigail and uh, this is the last month that she that her respite provider is gonna be available um, which I mean we're going on a trip over the summer but you know we have to fill that position when we get back so no teacher no respite yet and, and I, we do believe that we will find those people and the right people um, you know we're hopeful of that but it's still it's still an added stress and it's you know it's compounded by the fact that we have um, some fairly significant behaviors and and I think a lot of this stuff is just an age thing you know she's 17 in a couple days literally a phase that we're going through right now 
which is to be expected. Like a lot of times there's no rhyme or reason, uh, you know, just like any children or humans or people, there are phases and right now it's, it's, um, it's hard. So adding that to the worry of, you know, finding the right people is double hard. So Priscilla and I had a real emotional conversation and, you know, we're kind of at each other's throats a little bit because we're both stressed over this and, and that's always tough, you know, when it impacts your marriage too, because you have to do this as, as partners, as a couple and together, and, you know, this unified front and that's, that's challenging too, you know, and, and we disagree on a couple of things and it's just, it's putting a lot of stress on us and, you know, we kind of hugged it out and work through some stuff and in the midst of it I this is the worst part really I mean you know as far as currently it's the worst part I, I went out to my truck um, I left my left my iPad in my truck I went out to get it and the koi pond fish pond was a little low on water so we didn't see rain in days so I went to add a little bit of water like I typically do and uh, instead of having it run for 10 minutes, it ran for an hour. Um, completely flushed the pond, replaced the water, dropped the temperature. So Priscilla went out. Priscilla went to let the dogs out and saw dead fish. And uh, it's not looking good. There's, there's two left that are alive. They went into temperature shock. I, I added, you know, a bunch of warm water, about 20, 25 gallons of, uh, of hot water and uh, monitored the temperature to get it back up and treated the water and all that, but it's not looking good. I know it's just fish. Some people are going to say it's just fish. You know, it's, it's, they're Priscilla's fish. Like it's, it's her thing. She feeds them every day, talks to them. Um, she was heartbroken. I just feel terrible. I don't know. I feel, she said, you know, she forgives me for a mistake, but I just, I think I was so preoccupied with everything that was going on and, you know, with all the worries that we were having and the stuff we were fighting about that I, I just completely, I just walked right by it on the way back in and forgot to turn the water off. So, I feel terrible. I don't, I don't mean to get you down, but 98% of our vlogs are happy-go-lucky, so, so we'll make sure you guys know we're real people. I told Priscilla, you know, most of the fish in there were supposed to be feeder fish, and she gave them a very, very long life for feeder, for feeder fish, rescued them, if you will. I hope the two that are left make it. I really do. It could be. It could be just such a drastic difference in the in the pH of the water and you know chemical. There's chlorine in our drinking water and you know all that. So it could be that as well. It's hard, it's hard to say. I didn't test the pH on it or anything like that. I didn't have a baseline. I didn't check it before. So it's always been such a healthy pond. I never had to worry about it. But so I don't know. I feel like it's temperature shock. It's fairly common like if you flush out a you know all new water a, a tank or a pond so everything will be okay we've got a rock solid marriage which is good because you know we're gonna need that i feel like um we're gonna find the right people everything's gonna work out i'm gonna go get more fish 100 percent because a woman loves feeding her fish I'm definitely never going to make that mistake again. Everything will be fine. Nothing to worry about. But like I said, I wanted to be, you know, it's not just the playing flowers in life. You know what I'm saying? I hope you have a good night. I really do. I hope I didn't bring you down at all. Just, you know, smile. Keep on keeping on. Bye.